what's up everybody tweets here um in this video i am going to show you guys how to make your custom containers only take certain items that you want um i had someone ask me a question about this yesterday in my discord and i meant to make this video a while back and i spaced it and i forgot so luckily the person asked me and it jogged my memory so wait what you yeah, I'm, I'm just working from the sample container from my last previous container videos. Um, so I'm just adding to that. It's pretty much just scripting. So in this case, I made this only take medical items um, just for the video wise. So you can see I'm putting all medical stuff and it's going in. But if I try the screwdriver, it won't take it any type of weapon anything else it won't go in it's only taking medical items and how to do that it's in your script for your actual container so let's bring up that and it's just going to be this section here all the way down to here so this section is what you need to add to your script. <clears throat> and it is just M allow cargo. Um, anything in, in these class names, anything in this list will be the only thing that's allowed in your container when you have this. So whether it be tools, you get the class names from whatever um, tools, uh, medical, weapons, melees, whatever class names you put in here. So. So if I wanted, like, I don't know, it to take a screwdriver or some type of tool, I would go get the class name. So I would go gear. If I wanted to make this a toolbox, I would just go in here, get tools, and let's find kitchen timer, whatever. I would add kitchen timer like that. And then I would just keep going down until I had whatever I wanted in there. And then that would be it. And then you're gonna the only other sections is this section here, which is the can receive item in the cargo and can swap item in the cargo, which you may have or may not already in your script. Um, but you're gonna have to override um change it to to this here. And this is so it reads the M allowed cargo, and then you got Item is kind of allow cargo true and then return to false. Same with the swap. The rest of your script will stay the same as is. The only thing you change is this. So if you download this file, you just copy it, this portion right here, and put it in your script and then change your class names to whatever you want. To go in your container and then just to make sure you don't have duplicate of receive item and cargo and swap just select it if you're notepad plus plus and i think visual studio code also and then you can just scroll around and it'll highlight if it's there you'll see it green highlighted and there it, and it's not so there's no duplicates um and that that's it this is all you're, you're gonna want to add to your script and then that will make it so only those items can go into your container. Nothing else can go in. And that's it. That is how you make a container take certain items only. Um, if you have any questions, a link to my Discord will be below. I will link this file as well into the description so you can use it as a sample. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.